All right, hey guys, welcome to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're gonna to be note doing, wow, doing Notifier AFP-200 test one. New panel and LEDs. So we are gonna start with the pull stations. Going down here at point one is the Simplex 20999754 single action pull station. Going up to the first notification appliance spot is the Wheelock LHSR LED horn strobe. This is set at code three and 75 candela. Coming over here more, we have the Wheelock HSR Exceder. This is set at code 3, mechanical horn, 30 candela. Coming down, we're not going to talk about that, that comes later. We're going to come down here to the Notifier NBG-12L dual action conventional push-pull and lock-pull station. If we come around in here, is a Notifier NBG-12LX. Dual action, push and pull, adjustable pull station, you can see the module pinging in there. Going up here, this is the notifier, uh, this is the SDX-751 low profile photoelectric smoke detector. If we come around over here, this is the notifier CDX-751 ionization low profile smoke detector. This one has the pre-alarm feature turned on, so what happens when smoke hits a certain concentration of the detector before it trips into alarm, it will send a pre-alarm to the panel, the panel will start to beep and light up, and then once it hits alarm thresholds, it will activate the max. If then we come over here is the Faraday 32 SK2 single action pull station, and over here is the Wheelock RSS white remote strobe, strobe bleh, set at 15 candela. So, I think we can actually just go right ahead and pull the Faraday station. Oh, and the same uh, fan and everything's still the same. That's never going to change. Here we go. There we go. So now the alarm has been silenced. The strobes continue to flash because they're on the DSM sync module. This one also buzzes like the LED ESD Genesis I have, which is kind of interesting that they both do that. But all the strobes continue to flash in unison. Um, so panel is silenced and then we can come over here. Fan is running and reset this pull station. Sorry if my camera quality is weird. I'm using a different camera than normal just for this video because my regular one I had to send back to be repaired and it will be done in two weeks. So I am on a loner device for the time being. So if something seems off, like my fingers are in a weird place or something, I'm not used to holding this. So, and reset. And fan turns off and strobes turn off. So you can see it still says file and such notifier AFP 200. Again, if you want to have a custom message put in where it says notifier AFP 200, drop it in the comments and may consider it. Um, so let's pull the simplex station. Here we go. Push and pull. And we'll silence once more. Um, what else can we pull? Let's do the uh, NBG-12. Just the regular notifier station. Here we go. Push and pull. And we will reset the panel. Then after this, we will pull the pull station in the storage room, solo test the smoke detector above me, and then magnet test the detector in the storage room. So let's go ahead and pull the detector. And you'll see a change in light state briefly as it sends the alarm ping to the panel. Because this speaks a different language than the analog panel, 
blading like it won't stay solid and it won't change colors and everything so this is just how it's going to be because i have an older panel so push and pull you could kind of see it briefly let's see if i can get yeah see it's, it's already in the alarm it briefly went solid as it sent the alarm ping to the panel but here's what it looks like on the inside if anyone's curious it's just the nothing special the sync modules clicking away everything's going and we will reset so now that that is reset what we're actually going to do now is solo test the smoke detector and what I'm going to do this is I'm going to just put a little bit of solo in at a time. I'm not going to like totally drench it. And you'll see the pre-alarm feature will come on and it will show the concentration. So we'll start by just giving it a little, just a little blip. We'll wait a second. The LEDs will turn solid red in a pre-alarm. And then the panel signal tone will go off. Just a little bit more. All right, so there it goes. So it's in pre-alarm. Panel is flashing. Oh, a little bit more. Come on. There we go. So now it's in pre-alarm warning. You can see it is climbing up to the threshold. The pre-alarm goes off, and it should be going into alarm any second now. So we'll let the fan do its job and blow the smoke out of the chamber for a little bit. And then we can actually, we will magnet test the detector in here while this one is emptying. So we will come up here, you can hear the DSM clicking, and we'll place our magnet on. Gotta find it, there it is. I think that's been reset enough. You know, for a little uh, desk fan kind of thing, it puts out a pretty good breeze around here. Like, I'll actually get cold standing here. Um, okay, so cool. Everything is reset. So, there is not really a whole lot else to do. So, thank you guys for watching. And, as always, maybe. I know, we'll do the fire drill button. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh, it does. I forgot. It does that thing where if anyone can actually help me with this, I can't figure this out. When I go to do a manual evacuate, it won't run my strobe circuits. So the module's not being powered, which means the alarms aren't going to go off. Because normally in a evacuation, it would just uh, sound the sounders. But it's not doing that, apparently. So that was kind of sad. Um, I forgot that happened. So yeah, if you know why on a Notify AFP 200, why my strobe circuits won't come on in a fire drill, that would be swell. The manual for it kind of sucks. So, anywho, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. <laughs>